All right. <clears throat> I wanted to uh, make an addendum to my uh, measurements on the bandwidth here. So I thought about this a little bit, did a few experiments to test it out, and I, uh, and I know I was wrong in one sense. The center state 20 megahertz um, sweep generator also has a bandwidth limitation. It falls off at the 20 megahertz range just like the scope falls off. And I wasn't taking that into consideration when I did the measurements. Now I've got it hooked up and you can actually observe the linearity that it has. In this case, um, this would be 200 kilohertz. There's two megahertz. You can see we're linear top and bottom. But when I go to 20 megahertz, we get a little squirrely. So my uh, my generator is not linear itself. I mean, there's a small variation here at the top. It's not too bad, actually, until we get up into this uh, upper area, probably from uh, 18 to 25. And as you can see, we fall off. We lose about a half a division here at the 25 megahertz point. So the point I would make is uh, <clears throat> at the 25 megahertz uh, signal end, where we were observing that we uh, we were running maybe three uh, three divisions, we should have been actually compensating for the fact that our our generator is is also losing on that end. So what I what I should have done was I should have raised up this point. So what I'm going to do, just to demonstrate my point here, I'm going to put this on a continuous waveform. And uh, we are looking at a uh, 20 megahertz signal. And we'll adjust the, uh, the triggering on it here. All right. So I've adjusted the uh, uh, output of the generator to be uh, at its maximum. This would be the 25 megahertz. And um, as you can see here, we, we've not hit the fourth division top or bottom. So what I would need to do in order to compensate for the fact that our, our uh, output has fallen off is I need to raise up the output. Now this is a 100 megahertz scope. So it has three times the band of 30. I mean, I could run easily 90 megahertz through here. So I'm, I'm believing that this is a good reference scope, and I'm using it to set my my peak-to-peak -peak voltages at this 25 megacycles. So doing that, I'm now up four and down four at 25 megacycles. Now I would move the probe, and I would put it on the input of the 30 megahertz scope. This is not the same scope, it's just a similar scope. The other one is already packed up, so I can't demonstrate. Okay, and what we see now is that um, we have lost, we have lost only about a half a division. So at 25 megacycles, we are running about 3.4 uh, divisions. So we still have room <clears throat> to fall before we would hit the 2.8, which would be the magic number for the 30 megacycles. So the scope that I was dealing with is actually performing better than my measurement earlier would have stated. Um, and that's good. All right, thanks for listening. Bye.